Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I am here to show you how to get three and four star photographs of Weavile in the new Pokemon Snap. Now, if you do have any methods that I don't mention or don't show, let us know down below, as there may be some I don't know or don't show or think of at the time. But these will give you the results. Also, if you do find this helpful and enjoyable, you can like the video or check out the playlist at the end for all other Pokemon and how to get their three and four stars. Anyway, we're going to show a couple of different methods. The first one is in Snowfield Night. I'm going to hit in at Max level. I believe he's there from level 1, if not level 2 for sure. This will give you a 4 star, but there is a better 4 star. I just want to show this one because I do like it. So the reason I'm not speeding up because these guys stop me anyway. But this Weavile is actually quite easy to miss if you don't know where he is or aren't paying attention but he's actually around here just there in the tree sleep i'm gonna speed up now so as you can see there he is asleep what you need to do is oh wrong wrong thing hit him with a fruit and he's gonna fall into the snow that's it four star done I mean, you can get a two star him sleeping in the tree if you want. But as you can see, four star, him falling, and in the snow. So, Professor can pick one, and I'll be back with you to show you the three and another four star. Alrighty! Okay. So, what we need to do here in the day, I should say, sorry, snow feels during the day is use fruit to lure Weavile forward towards the swine up or the next lot of trees. Once he's far enough, he'll then run to that tree. Nothing is there. We need to lure him further along again towards the next trees. We're actually leading up to these scratches there. Once he's close enough, he'll run off and start reading them. A photo of him reading is a three star, but what you need to do, you need to hit the scratches themselves with an Illumina Orb. He'll then go jumping. I'm just taking some photos of him jumping because I can. And that'll go up. Repeat, you have to hit the scratches with the Illumina Orb. If you hit him only, it will not work. He will still end up, it will still end up with a similar interaction at the top, but without the same results. As you can see, someone just jumped across the top then. Once that you get up here. Hit this swine up with a fruit. Once you do, the swine up are going to take off and go hide with Mama Swine. We then will have the Weavile come down and they're going to go to fight the Mama Swine. There will be a second one join and they'll start doing poses. Hit them with an Illumina Orb to cause them to an attack. After that, he's going to flick snow at them and they'll run away. I have found without hitting them with an Illumina Orb here, they do not attack. So I'll go over that one again. You have to lure him all the way to the scratch tree. Photo of him reading the scratches as a three star. Hitting the scratches with an Illumina Orb. And then from there, we have to then get up the top, hit the Swiner with a fruit. And then when both of them there are, they're kind of doing a come at me taunt towards the Mammoth Swine, hit them with an Orb to have them attack. And I apparently was missing a Mammoth Swine photo, whatever I got. But as you can see, I only got one photo there of the four star of it attacking, and I didn't get a three star reading because I rushed it. I guarantee you reading the tree is a three star, and I'll quickly go show you guys that now. But, excuse me, but there's our four star of it fighting. So let me just go show you my three star, and I'll be back with you in a moment. And here you go, guys. As you can see, this is a three-star photograph here of him deciphering the scratch marks on the tree. I was just a little too fast there because I wanted to get that four-star to work. This is pretty straightforward, and you can still get this while having him read the scratches after their Illumina um, orbed, which I have done, but just didn't submit or weren't as good. But that's it. 
So guys, if you did find this one enjoyable or helpful, as I said, like, check out the playlist at the end. But you can also check out my channel for a lot of different content I do, Pokemon or not. But you can also check out my Twitch, which is linked down below. On Twitch, I play a lot of different games weekly. I played through this game in full on there. And I play a large quantity of community-based gaming weekly, which is really a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.